what we're really interested in here is the relative energy efficiency between hand washing dishes and using a dishwasher. Mm -hmm. So we're really only going to concern ourselves with the electrical energy used. And Kate, I'd also be interested in finding out what differences there might be between the Lee's and most efficient dishwashers available today. What if we got our hands on a dishwasher from 10 years ago? We'll see how that stacks up. That sounds like a great idea. Okay. And we should probably try a few different ways of hand washing dishes because there might be some that are much better than others. Oh, I bet there will be. I'm betting you're right. So for the first test, we're going to put the soap directly on the sponge and leave the water running for both the soaking and the rinsing. Second, we'll be using a sink for soaking the dishes, turning on the hot water anytime we need to rinse something, and changing the soaking water if it looks like it needs it. For the final test, we'll use one sink for the soaking and one sink for the rinsing, and we'll change out the water whenever it gets dirty. That's loud. Too thorough. Oh, is that what it is? Now, the setup for testing the dishwashers is going to be pretty straightforward. We've got a bunch of dirty dishes, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick scrape of the plates for any food left on them, then load them up and run the dishwashers on their normal setting. So what were the results? Okay, well, here are the results of hand washing. Wow, look at that. There is a huge difference between mm -hmm. leaving the water running and turning it on only when you need to rinse a dish. It just goes to show, a little change can make a pretty big difference. And using the two basin method mm -hmm. saves another 40%. Okay, but what about the dishwashers? All right, well, our 10-year-old dishwasher mm -hmm. used a third of the energy wow. for the constant water method. Okay, so what you're saying is, if you can't break the habit of leaving the water running, Maybe you should just use a dishwasher. Now that will obviously depend upon your dishwasher, but it's certainly worth a look. Okay, well, let's take a look at the newer dishwashers. All right. Well, our inefficient new dishwasher mm -hmm. certainly lived up to its title. It was only slightly more efficient than our old dishwasher. Okay, well, what about the new energy efficient dishwashers? Is that as efficient as the two basin hand wash method? It was ever so slightly less efficient. So. What have we learned? Well, we've learned that hand washing dishes can certainly be the most energy efficient way to clean your dishes if you use the two sinks or a sink and a tub and fill them only about halfway. Although, dishwashers can be as efficient if you don't pre wash and you don't use the heat dry method. Although your mileage could vary. Yeah. So, use the method that we did, the most energy efficient, and then just tweak it until your dishes come out clean. Right. Now, we've put everything we've learned about dishwashing up on our website, so <laughs> check it out. And uh, we'd also love to hear how you had to tweak what we did in order to get your dishes efficiently clean. And if you've got a burning energy efficiency question, just visit our website and email us, leave a video response, mm -hmm. or just leave your suggestion in the comments section. And if we like it, we may just do it. <laughs> that was totally fun. Oh. I want to do it again. Uh, I've had enough dishwashing to last me a couple of years. <laughs> Hopefully someone will send us something different for us to work on. Mm, that would be good.